All right, guys, uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to keep score for volleyball. Uh, here is the sheet on the board. You should also have a sheet in front of you to follow along as I go through this, all right? It's quite intimidating, but once you get a hold of it, it's really not that bad at all, all right? Starting on the far side of the paper, way over here, uh, you have the rosters. So at the beginning of the game, the coaches will give you the rosters. You can take their names and the numbers, and you're going to write it in. So, for example, we got number two, number three, number four, number six, number seven, yada, yada, yada. And you write down their name, um, Smith, Jones, whatever their names are. You write it all in. You do it for both teams. Above that, there's a little circle that says A or B. Don't touch it yet. The rest are going to come on over and they're going to tell you which team is team A and which one is team B. That's going to determine how we write the rest of the sheet. So just wait for the rest and they'll tell you who serves first, who serves second, and stuff like that. All right? Just for today, let's say Athena is team A. They're the top team. And team B is down here. And let's say SIS. Once we know that, we have to write it all on the sheet. So at the very top where it says team A, we're going to write Athena. Team B is SIS, as an example. All right? Competition. It's at Athena, you write the date, you write the, the time, don't worry about the referees, uh, don't really worry about uh, the match number, you put match number one if you want, and the place, again, we're at Athena. All right? We're going to use this first set as our example. All right? Uh, let me blow it up so we can see it just a little bit better here. All right. Let's make it bigger for us. Keep going. There we go. Now you can see it. All right. Okay. So again, this is A, and we said A is going to be Athena, and B is going to be SIS. All right. At the beginning, the ref's going to tell you who serves first and who receives first. Let's say it comes out that Athena serves first. So by that S, you fill that in, which means SIS is going to do the R. They're going to receive first. All right. Also, before the game, each coach is going to give you a sheet that looks like this. Okay, I'm kind of shaking. You can see there's a bunch of numbers on that. That bottom number three, that's the, the, uh, the player who's in the first position. Number two is five, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. You have to put those numbers in the correct spot up here. So number three is here, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. You do the same thing for SIS. The SIS coach will give you a sheet as well. Let's just call these kids one, two, three, four, five, six. Just as an example, all right? So now the game starts. Athena's team A, they're going to serve first. Now we have all these numbers here. It's a little confusing, but not that big of a deal. Number three, who's in the first position, they're going to serve first. They do a good job, they get a point. Great. This is the running score. We do a little check, right? Number three serves again, they get another point. Check. You're gonna keep checking until they screw up. So it's a bad serve or hits the net or for whatever reason, all right? Let's say player number three gets four points and then messes up. Right here in the first serve, you're going to write four. It's now SIS's turn. But if you know anything about volleyball, the very first time that they serve when you're receiving, they rotate, which means player number one isn't going to serve first because they've rotated. Uh, player number two is actually going to be that first serve. Okay? So let's say player number two, they score a point, you check, they score another point, and then they stop, they make a mistake. So, player two, first serve, they got two points. Now we're back over here. Now they've rotated, player number five is going to serve next, all right? So player number five, they go, and guess what? They get two points, one, two. We're now at a score of six, so right here, we're going to write six. We're keeping the running score down here so we know who gets what. They mess up. We're back over here. Player number three in this case gets one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven points. We know player number three is a great server. They mess up. Uh, do, do, do. They get nine points. All right? And they keep going that way with the running score and these scores down here. You need 25 points to win these games here at junior high. Let's say uh, number seven rolls an ankle or we have to substitute for whatever reason. Uh, let's say number 11 for Athena. Number 11 is going to substitute in. That's great, but right here we have to write down the score at which they, that substitution took place. So right now the score is 6 to 9 for SIS. So in this first little box, we do 6, 9, and there's a colon in between. That tells us that the next time that they play, or that tells us that when they substituted, the score was 6, 9. Also in volleyball, you can only substitute with the same person. So if number seven wants to come back in the game, they have to substitute number 11, okay? Uh, and these boxes right here tell us uh, what the score is when they, when they came back in. You can see, you can substitute in up to 12 times. That's a lot of times, so it's, uh, it shouldn't be an issue for, for getting in. So let's say we keep on going and do, 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 and Athena gets 25 points. And SIS only got to, uh, what is that? They got to 14. Okay? The score is done. We filled this all in. we keeping score as we went. We're going to go 25 with a big circle, 14 for SIS. Game is done. All right? Fortunately for us, the coach did not call a timeout. If they did call a timeout, which they're allowed to, they're allowed two timeouts in one set. So let's say the Athena coach called a timeout. I would write this, the uh, score at which they called it. Let's say they called it at 7.13. So Athena had seven points, SIS had 13. The coach calls a timeout. You would write it in right here. Now the coach only has one more timeout per set. All right? You do the same thing for all uh, five sets. At the end of the game, yep, let's move this up so you can see it. Nope, you can't see. Let me just rotate that up. All right, where's my brush? There it is. Okay, at the end of the game, like at the end of all, all the matches, you need three matches to win. So best out, of, best out of five, you need three matches. You're going to write everything here. You're going to write the results. So team A was Athena. Team B was SIS. And you're going to write in what happened. In that very first match, how many timeouts did Athena call? Let's say they called one timeout. All right. How many times did they substitute? Well, they substituted once. And did they win? Yes, they won that game. And what was the score? The score was 25 to, what we said, 14, I do believe. All right? Uh, and here, duration, you can put how long the game is, but don't worry about that too much. All right? And the same thing with SIS. They didn't win the game. Let's say they only had one sub, let's just say, and they had no timeouts. You would fill in all three, um, all five games, if it went to five games, but at this league, you only need three to win. However, let's say Athena wins the first three games. They might want to play the fourth and fifth game just to let all the players play, but we don't need to record that on the score. We'll record it all up here, but not necessarily down here. It doesn't have to go down here. All right. Let's say at the end of the day, Athena won. We write down the winner, Athena. Uh, and they won how many? They won three games to one. So we won three, SIS won one. We win overall. All right? The only thing that we really have to keep, uh, to keep aware of is if it goes to five games. Once it goes to five games, we start flipping sides uh, when we're halfway through because it goes to 15. If it gets to the fifth game, 
just ask the ref to come over to give you a quick hand on how to keep that score. It's a little bit complicated to teach you right here on a quick video, all right? It's the same process. You just flip over a little bit in between, right? It's really not that big of a deal, and you'll get a hold of it within two seconds once the ref shows you how, all right? That's generally how you keep score. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please stay focused during the game. Write neatly so we can all read it, and make sure you press hard enough that we can read the carbon copy that comes underneath the paper. So you like the white, pink, and yellow. you got to press hard enough that we can read it. Uh, besides that, uh, thank you very much for volunteering, and I hope you have a great season. Thank you very much.